Hey guys, it's Liz. So for today's video, I'm gonna be doing a what I ate today. I love watching these videos, so I thought I would just go ahead and try out doing one myself. So for breakfast, I went ahead and decided to make myself some oatmeal. So I went ahead and cut up some strawberries to put on top. And then I just put some old fashioned oats in a bowl. I poured some hot water um, over them. And then I went ahead and stuck that in the microwave just to help them cook a little bit more and a little bit faster. Um, I love adding stuff on top of my oatmeal, so I went ahead and added some peanut butter. may seem weird, but it makes it really yummy and creamy, and I'm totally a peanut butter person. Uh, then I went ahead and added on my strawberries, and strawberries and peanut butter go together so well. Um, and then on top I added honey, and then I finished it off with some cinnamon. I'm telling you guys, this was so delicious, and I love eating oatmeal for breakfast just because it's so filling and it really keeps me full for a good amount of time. You'll see in all the clips of me eating, I'm always watching stuff on my phone, but I literally have like no free time during my day, especially on this day, I was so busy, so whenever I eat, that's like my little break from doing work. So for lunch, I went ahead and had some autumn squash soup. Uh, I made this uh, actually the day before, um, so I made it from scratch. It's like a copycat for the Panera autumn squash soup, so it is so good, and I just had that with two pieces of bread, and again, I'm on my phone. Um, and then, for a snack, uh, like halfway through the day, I had some hummus and pita chips. This is the best hummus ever. It's the Tribe Swirl uh, Sweet Roasted Red Pepper. Um, it is amazing. And then of course, Stacy chips are just a must have. So for dinner, I decided to go ahead and make a quesadilla, but I wanted it to be like a really good filling quesadilla. So I'm making like a little mixture to go on the inside. So I start out by sauteing some garlic and then I threw a pack of mushrooms that I cut up, I just threw that in there. I love mushrooms. And then uh, to go with that, I added in some black beans. But yeah, mushrooms and black beans are both have a good amount of protein, so it will really help fill you up and keep you full throughout the day. And then I added in some corn too, just to give it another, you know, thing in there. But yeah, so I'm just mixing this all together and kind of letting it simmer for a little bit so it can all cook down. Um, I added some seasoning. I added garlic salt, uh, roasted red pepper flakes, and then some pepper. The black beans that I use are pre-seasoned black beans, so they already have a good amount of flavor to them. So I didn't add that much extra seasoning just because there was already a good amount of flavor from the black beans. But yeah, so I let that cook for a good like five minutes until kind of a lot of the moisture from like the mushrooms and the corn had evaporated. I cleaned out the pan and then I threw down a whole wheat uh, tortilla. I put down a layer of cheese. I just get like the pre-shredded four cheese blend from Kroger. And then I added on a layer of the mixture that I just made. And then on top of that, I just added more cheese and then you finish it off by putting another tortilla on top. Um, and then you just let it cook until the first side gets like cooked enough, flip it, you guys know how to make a quesadilla. But this turned out so good, I'm telling you guys, this was amazing. I actually only ate half of it for dinner and I had it just with some pico de gaia, but this was so, so good. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a pretty fun time making it, so let me know if you want to see more of these. I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!